Hi, it's Russell here from Outdoor Active UK. I'm in the tech support with Outdoor Active and I've been let out today, which is a bit of a miracle because it's a beautiful sunny day on the North Norfolk coast path. And more importantly, I'm here with actor, writer and comedian Merrick Larwood, who's also the brand ambassador for Outdoor Active UK. Merrick, it's so good to meet you at last. Lovely to meet you. I was distracted because there was a seal out there. I oh. couldn't I couldn't turn the camera around. You just had his head up there because you were doing your intro and I thought, all oh, right, it'd be so rude of me just to cut <laughs> to the seal. Well, I like it's, a bit of nature. So... He's gone. Oh, well. Sorry, Russell. What were <laughs> you going right. to say? <laughs> I say it's nice to meet you at last <laughs> after so many calls on Skype and Zoom and yeah, whatever we, you use. We've done all that and now I've come across really rude because I was staring at that seal in the distance i couldn't believe it but yes yes it's lovely to meet you and what a wonderful coast pop I'm, I'm on the third day and this stretch is from blakeney to chroma that's right and we've got the wonderful beast and bump coming up so you'll be able to walk over that and uh, enjoy the views uh, what russell didn't tell me is that the last four miles was basically just shingle which is a bit horrific, I won't mince words, horrific. But there you go. So how did the uh, Cool Dudes Walking Club get started? Well, I was a big fan of walking, but because my job is sort of acting, I'm normally just walking um, by myself. So I got a bit bored, so I thought it'd be good to try and make films whilst I'm walking. And maybe this could become my job rather than uh, <laughs> but increasingly sporadic acting. Well, how, how do you mix the, the, the acting and the walking club? And I guess you've already said that you, you know, that's the way you want to go, is you know, improve your walking club and get members, ship going up and everything. Um, well, normally, what's good is that a lot of your acting stuff's on location. So you get sent to places and hotels in weird different places. And I always try and do a walk wherever I go, so just to mix it up a little bit. So you say you'd rather choose to walk on your own, but if you did walk with someone, who, who would you be your favourite walking companion? The most important thing for me is someone who walks quite slowly, because my average speed is about two miles an hour. Yeah, they say average speed is three miles an hour, but I think that's quite a tough Yeah, I don't, that's speed. all rubbish. I don't know who these people are doing this three miles no. an hour stuff. Also, you say you want to walk with someone. You don't, what? It's, you don't want to walk with someone who's talking the whole time. The best bits are the silent bits for the walking. So you need to walk with someone you know well enough that you don't feel uncomfortable when they when there's the silent you know moments. So, Mary, you've done quite a few walks now, and I've enjoyed watching your videos on your YouTube channel. Good, good, good. It's called Doing's Walking Club. Yeah. What, what so far? What's been your favourite walk? Um, I think there's bits of walks. There's one which was Bentley to Farnham, which is great because I'm a big fan of pine forests, but I'm from the Isle of Wight. And um, I think bits of the coastal path are spectacular. And you've got the um, variety there, where a lot of walks, the Norfolk coastal path, it's very similar, a lot of it, I think. Whereas the Isle of Wight, there's a lot of variety from different parts of the coast within a small area. I answered that well, didn't I? And, and have you got any tips for other people wanting to start up their own YouTube channel or walking club? Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Get your own idea. <laughs> don't copy me. This is my way out of working. So if I find out you've set up your own walking club, I'd be absolutely furious. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, Merrick, would you consider yourself a bit of a tech walking geek? I started off just walking in normal clothes and then what happens is you get blisters and chafing and you start wearing walking gear until you're dressed in absolutely awful clothes, but you're comfortable. The most important things I would say is good shoes, trekking poles and Vaseline your feet. That's my main tip. Why do you Vaseline your feet? To stop blisters. It makes a massive difference. Okay. It's really good. So today we're on the... Oh, should, I, should I tell you my Vaseline story oh, first of all? Then which was, um, I was vaseline my feet before I went out for a walk and I was staying at a and b and I realised <laughs> <laughs> when I'd left for the walk that I'd left the pot of Vaseline on the bedside oh, table. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
But there we go, so probably came in handy at some point. I don't know. I expect someone else used it. Yeah, yeah, for their walk. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Another question, Russell. Yes, so today you're on the beautiful North Norfolk Coast Path. Yeah. But if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you like to walk? Um, I'd probably like to do somewhere in the Highlands. I'd love to do coast to coast, but I've never been to the Lake District, I'm embarrassed to say, or the Scottish Highlands. And I think they're the two places that I've sort of seen where I know it's pretty boring and local, but that's where I'd like to go. Yep, I heard it's very good in Scotland, yes. Great. Well, that's it for the interview, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I think we can wrap that up there. Oh, well, well lovely to meet you, Russell. And you. And um, always support Outdoor Active, right? Absolutely. Stay cool.